CCTV Camera World is proud to provide support for products purchased from our website. If you purchased your product from another vendor, please contact the vendor you purchased from for further assistance. License plate capture cameras are very important and a useful tool in prosecuting perpetrators that are coming into your property. In this video, I'm going to show you a comparison between three different cameras we carry. The first one on the left hand side here is a proper license plate camera with ANPR capabilities or LPR capabilities which stands for license plate recognition or automatic number plate recognition technology. The camera can actually pick up these numbers, scan them in the video and store them as still shots. The other one over here is our 4K long range bullet camera, which is a not a specific license plate camera, but a long range general surveillance camera that's able to also capture a plate, as you can see here on a moving vehicle. That's albeit moving slowly. Here is a regular surveillance camera that's a four megapixel with long range zoom. And the reason this camera is here to show you what a regular camera will do that's not geared towards capturing license plate numbers. So I've shown you the three different snapshots. I'm just going to rewind through some of the video to show you how it works when you have a camera connected to our NVR. And I have it pulled up here on my PC and I'm going through areas where it actually captured a plate and you'll notice this one the first camera doesn't have any plates is because it didn't detect a license plate going by. These two cameras are just using a region recognition or intrusion box to detect whether something crosses into the box here or here. It's not necessarily looking for a license plate. So this particular camera here where you see no video, it's geared towards only capturing plate numbers and it'll only record video from plates coming by. And, and what you can see is here I'm going to do a replay of all three of them together and you can see there's analytics happening. This camera detected the vehicle in this box and highlighted the region. This one as well. And there seems to be a little bit of a time sync issue, which is common with IP cameras. I'm going to correct it right now. There we go. If I try to zoom in, you'll notice the license plate isn't very clear right now. So it doesn't provide me the best picture. It's good detail. This one, I don't even have to zoom in because it has special circuitry in capturing plates and makes them very high contrast, easy enough to see. This one, while it's not a plate capture camera, it does have a lot of analytics and it's a 4K camera. As long as the vehicle is still, it'll capture the plate number. Now the vehicle was moving as it was exiting the parking lot. It didn't do the best job capturing that plate here. This is another reason we made these videos to show what you should expect depending on how you're using the camera. Here's a video replay from that camera to kind of understand how to best use it. And depending on how fast the car is moving, the angle of the car relative to the camera, you can actually sort of make out the plate number. So again, this is a 7 to 35 millimeter 4K camera. Now in here on this truck that was going by, it did a fine job. So in some cases, slow moving vehicles, as in this case, you could capture a plate. He had, had a full stop basically and he then ran away. This guy keeps on coming and he's uh, slowly driving up to the exit here and the vehicle's in constant motion. And I can see the plate number and make it out, fortunately. But again, speed is key, angle of view is key on how the camera's mounted. It provides me a decent enough picture. But nothing comes close to this license plate camera. I'm gonna completely ignore this because it didn't do a satisfactory job of capturing anything. You'll get lucky if you, you can even see something with a regular camera that's not meant to do license plate capture. So here, you can actually see this analytics is trying to recognize the license plate and is displaying it 
Here is the web interface of the license plate camera. It actually stores, if I go in and do a search using Windows and Internet Explorer, it can actually record on a micro SD card the numbers that it recognized and timestamps. While these numbers may not be accurate 100%, they're close to 80% accurate or 90% accurate, depending on how the camera is mounted. And I can click on one of these images and open it, and it can download the image for me. Okay. Another more robust way of viewing the camera is through a NVR. So I'm going to go and play video from my camera by going into the AI analytics, motor vehicle detection, and I'm going to isolate it to that time frame. So here it's populated the license plates that have gone by. And as you can see, for a certain plates there, you can see the license plate numbers. You can see a snapshot. So what it's showing you is a thumbnail of um, the vehicle type. So you can kind of see what it was right there. And uh, the plate snapshot and the plate number itself. It tries to also decipher what type of vehicle it is. Uh, since this is an international camera used everywhere, it tries to do the best it can. So this might not be accurate as far as the manufacturer or logo. The color usually is. Um, in this case, because it's so bright, it thought this was white. Again, not the best reliable. You're trying to basically look at plate numbers and capture instances of the video itself for manual verification in case you need it. Please note, this is not foolproof. It's not 99% accurate. Uh, accuracy is sometimes, sometimes more like 85% accurate. The purpose of this is to capture video clips of cars passing by so you can have them for documentation should something happen and you need to refer back to the video. Now, this uh, purpose of this demonstration is also, also to show you what you should not be doing and how to properly mount the camera. In this case, my, uh, my camera is looking at an ingress and egress point across the street at a parking lot and some of the vehicles that are exiting, they're exiting rather at an increased speed, uh, sometimes at, at 30 miles an hour and at an angle, no license plate camera will be able to capture a plate. So it, when the car is at too much of an angle, like in this case, when the car is exiting this way to the slant, it's not going to capture that. It has to be more straight on. So for certain vehicles that are entering in slowly into the driveway and then going into the, uh, the parking lot, then it'll capture it fine or some of the vehicles that come here and have a full stop here, it's able to capture them. Now there is a playback feature because I'm using this camera to test out and I also have it recording onto a micro SD card. When you do two functions where you have the camera writing to a micro SD card on board and then trying to save to the NVR, there will be interruption of video as such as I'm gonna demonstrate where the camera has a pause in video transmission to the NVR so you cannot have it write to the SD card and um, right to the NVR or stream to the NVR, there will be momentary disruption because during that few seconds, what it did was it basically wrote to the SD card. So I'm going to show you where it did. Inside here, I am inside the NVR's, uh, into rather the camera's micro SD slot, and I can see that plate number from that vehicle being stored on the snapshot on the SD card. This pretty much sums my uh, up my demonstration of and comparison of the different live display cameras. I hope you found this video useful. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe below.